Hi, this is Charity and welcome back to the Super Sim Challenge. A challenge in The Sims 4 where we try to get top level of every career, complete all the aspirations, max all the skills, and do everything you can do for a single sim. Now Carla actually was working on getting burnout last time. And I kind of forgot that you need a 10s buff for that. So I had to get rid of her traits, Carefree, and the one that she got from the Beach Life Aspiration. And then she was basically able to burn out. Now, I know there have been a lot of complaints about burnout needing to be optional since it takes so much out of your sim when you're first starting out. It's very hard to do a rags to riches without getting burned out. And I basically had to make robotics on this robotic station for a solid eight sim days before she got the mental moodlet. So basically the mental fog moodlet is a dazed moodlet and it took forever to get. But I did eventually get it by constantly doing nothing but making robotics things for eight days. So it's actually been, I think, two weeks in game because after I got the fog moodlet, it basically went away and just dropped out of her buff list over here because it was trying to turn into the tense burned out moodlet and it couldn't. So if you get the carefree trait, it does prevent burning out but it won't prevent the mental fog or the creative fog moodlet because those are dazed moodlets so anyway after getting the burnout we have the milestone first time burning out so i'm not really sure what to do at this point i guess we should just resolve the burnout and then give carla her buffs back we can start this by quitting the job i think that almost immediately resolves your burnout Okay, so now she's only burned out for 12 hours. And I think if you do things that reduce your tense mood, then that will go away quicker. So if you just go take a shower or go to sleep or do anything like that. Um, well, wait, before we take a shower, let's take off the robo arm. <laughs> I don't think that it really makes a difference, but I don't want to take a chance. And we'll take a bath with soaks and pretty much everything you do to relieve a tense moodlet. Now I could just add her buffs back that prevent tense moodlets, but I think we should resolve this the natural way first and then add the moodlet preventing traits back. You might also notice that Carla is no longer a plant sim. Well, I discovered that when I ate the forbidden fruit, it became a plant sim that since I'm in a tiny micro home, it actually made that buff last 10 days instead of the normal five. And so I didn't really want to be a plant sim for 10 days. I used one of her potions that basically got rid of all of her buffs, the potion of emotional stability. And so that removed her plant simness. And then I went to the magical realm and turned her back into a spellcaster. So now we're back on the spellcaster wave. Okay, I have the buff down to zero minutes with the green arrows going down, but for some reason it's just not going away. I don't know how burnout works. And when she wakes up, it's still four hours. So I guess the burnout moodlet is hard coded not to go away unless it's lasted for a specific amount of time not sure exactly how it resolves normally but i'm just going to take a potion of emotional stability because i don't want to mess with it oh it is down to 48 minutes now after she woke up so maybe if i do something creative that'll help oh no thunder is passing away Okay, so lightning did pass away while I was playing, and now thunder has passed away. Thunder actually didn't become an elder until I was working on the burnout, so maybe it's been more than two weeks. I don't remember how many weeks it's been, but uh, it's winter now, so if I go back to my other video, I could probably figure that out. Okay, and I said we would probably keep one ghost horse, so we will strengthen Thunder's connection. 
And the thing about Thunder is, since Thunder is male, we can actually get to the ultimate horse competition with him as a ghost. And if we want to have babies that have the championship horse genes we could just revive them and since he's a male even though he's an elder he should still be able to have children hopefully oh and our burnout moodlet is gone okay and we don't even need to finish that painting another thing i did while i was trying to get burnout was change to the neighborhood confidant aspiration and every time a sim would call me and ask for advice i would get credit i only got seven calls but still that's some progress that i didn't even have to try for i guess we'll re-enroll in university and this time i'm actually going to do the esports scholarship and the reason why i'm doing this is because you need that in order to get the esport gamer branch of the tech entrepreneur and you need to be able to complete that career and while you have that career you cannot have any other career so let's get that scholarship now i don't know if i'll get the scholarship notification before i enroll there might be a waiting period on that oh yeah it's pending that's not good i think you have to wait Maybe I can just join that while I'm in university. Okay, actually the next one I need to do is at Brightchester, which means I really wanted the soccer scholarship, not the esports one. Well, I guess we'll do economics just because I probably want to get the esports gamer. I mean, it doesn't really matter which school you're going to for esports gamer versus the soccer player. But to me, I think that the video games one is a little bit more Foxbury-like uh, because Foxbury is the technical school. And then the soccer one would be closer to a Brightchester degree. So I wanted to be part of the soccer club or soccer career when I was at Brightchester and the esports gamer while at Foxbury. So we'll continue with the economics degree. Okay, it re enrolled me in the Order of Enchantment and the Brainiacs and the Spirit Squad. Well, I was kind of hoping it wouldn't do that, but I guess because I'm in the same school, it does. And it makes me a new member of all of these. Oh, that's not right. I don't want to be a new member. Okay, I can leave the organization. All right, because I've already maxed out all of these organizations, so I don't think that I should have to stay in them anymore. Oh, I don't have class on Monday. That kind of messes up my week. Oh, I don't like that. Well, it is what it is. It's because it's Sunday at 3 p.m. It's not making me go to class on Monday. All right, so we're starting on Tuesday, which means I'm going to have all day Monday to finish my presentation in my paper. So time to just grind out the homework. Caitlin adopted a child? Okay. All right, Caitlin, good for you. For those of you on my Discord server, I think I probably found out where Caitlin met Carla. Basically, during the great Thanos snap, as I or the great snap, as I call it, um, I deleted all of the young adults, adults, and elders in the game that Carla knew. I wanted her to only know teenagers, but I was also introducing her to all teenagers and children in order to maximize the chance, chances that she would get that invite to a party. And so I think Caitlin is from that time period. And it's because she had a children's homework in her inventory. And Sims in the game usually don't have children's homework unless they respond into the game as a child. And th so she didn't have the teenager homework. She had the child's homework, which is the grade school homework. And she also had no parents on her family tree. So what happened during that period is either she was a teenager or she was a child. And I moved her into a different household. 
if she was a child and left her in the household she was in if she was a teenager. And then what I did is deleted her parents because Carla probably knew her parents. And that's why she has no parents on the family tree, despite having entered the game as a child. Oh, right. I forgot about my chickens. I don't know why no one will clean this chicken coop. I have only two chickens now, and I basically have a evil chicken and a golden chicken. And thankfully, neither one of them is dirty right now. I'm going to purchase a white hen because for some reason the golden chicken only lays golden eggs even though the rooster is an evil chicken but I guess the rooster really has nothing to do with the egg so we're always going to get golden eggs and we might get a golden rooster so I I want also evil chickens so I'm going to add a regular hen and probably turn her into an evil chicken. We need a cowberry jam and an obsidian egg. Or we just go buy the shadow treat that's in my retail store. So I have this retail store and I can sell it and basically buy anything that's in it. Okay, now we have Cuckoo, Charles, and Goldie. Okay, if you don't get your scholarship on time, you can go to the sports arena and just join a sports team. And we're going to join the eSports competitor career. And this is going to be Monday to Thursday from 6 p.m. until 10 p.m. And of course, we probably won't have to go tonight. No. All right. So we're going to miss this Monday, but that's fine. We just need to play some scuffle solo or research some scuffle strategies. And I don't think that we can bribe for performance and we start out at level one. So this is a career that we will actually have to go to. Oh no, it does let us bribe boss for job performance. Okay, that might make this a little bit easier. Okay, we need to play some scuffle with the team. None of the other advancements work. I can't convince a boss for, for, for a bonus and I can't negotiate for a bonus. So this is the only way that you can jumpstart your performance in these careers. And these careers are hard to max out because you start at level one and you have to get max level by the end of a degree. and. I guess you could carry it over to the next degree, but I'm not sure. So I only have two weeks to max out this career. Okay, how do I play some scuffle with my team? It's not under video games. It's not under career. Oh no, maybe it is. Okay, so if you go under play game, play some scuffle. Okay, playing some scuffle with the team is only available from 5 p.m. to 12 a.m. So we're going to have to wait five hours for that. Let's just go sit in on a skill class. I want to try to get the mixology certificate and my mixology is level 10. So, um, okay, so this is one of the rare times where I have to cheat and change my mixology level back down to level one. Okay, we earned our mixology certificate. So now we should be able to join the mixology career with the benefits of a degree. So we have our mixology certification and our mixology skill is back to level five. I'm just going to leave it like that. And eventually she'll bring it back up to level 10. I'm not concerned about maxing that out right away. Okay, it's 5 p.m. Time to play Sim Scuffle with the team. Okay, now that that's done, uh, we just have to wait for class to roll around. Okay, we're actually able to go snowboarding this time. It looks like the weather is actually pretty bad. It's heavy snow and freezing, but for some reason, it still lets us go snowboarding. Okay, there's the bunny slope. Oh, there's the intermediate slope. I was about to say, because this one's easy, and I guess this one is intermediate. So after going on the easy slope just once at high intensity, we are able to do the intermediate slope at medium intensity. And we wiped out. 
Okay, we can actually go on the expert slope now, and we need to do high intensity during inclement weather, but I don't think it's inclement weather, but we'll do one time high intensity. We also have to succeed, so she can't wipe out. Well, I would call that successful, but it doesn't look like it's inclement weather. Okay, we did get the Achieve Level 8 Skiing, Snowboarding, or Rock Climbing because our Rock Climbing is above Level 8, but it took me getting a couple of levels in Snowboarding for the Milestone to complete. So, we need to figure out if we can do High Intensity Skiing or Snowboarding on an Expert Slope or Rock Climbing during Inclement Weather. It's not Inclement, though, so... We'll try skiing. For some reason, I can go straight to skiing on the expert slope at high intensity. Do I have any skiing skill? I don't even know. Okay, I am level five at skiing. And I wiped out. I would not call that a success. Take number two. You actually get fame for doing this. Okay, that wasn't too bad. I think she landed successfully. It doesn't look like I'm getting credit, though. So I don't know what the weather is. I did not check the weather first because last time I checked the weather first and it was fair and I couldn't go skiing or snowboarding because of some reason. I think it was bugged. Uh, so for some reason, if it's fair weather, you can't go. OK, now it says current conditions are fair, but it has a little line through the ice. Okay, so it's not icy conditions. We need to find icy conditions. And it does let me go skiing and snowboarding. I don't know why last time it would not let me go skiing or snowboarding. Oh, there's a ludicrous slope. <laughs> okay. And I can never find the hiking trails either. All right, there it is. Okay, so the hiking sign is a little bit different than the other signs. Uh, um, well, it's kind of different, but it looks almost the same. But this is the hiking one. So the ones that I have had better luck with is hiking to a particular thing versus just the scenic loop or hiking around. For some reason, those don't tend to give me wildlife attacks. Okay, our first class is at 9.30 a.m. And then we have class until 12.25 and our activity is not until 6 p.m. So we're pretty set for right now. I'm going to try and get this Mount Kumarabi one at least progressed in finishing the wildlife attacks. Okay, there's centipedes. Oh, I got zapped. Okay. Okay, it did not count as unscathed because I got zapped. Having higher fitness skill or a jar of crawling critter power can help avoid future pain. Um, I have max fitness skill. What's up with that? It seems like whenever I hike to this mountain shrine, I almost always get attacked by centipedes. That's the second time in a row that's happened. And that's the only wildlife attack I've ever had. Maybe I should actually buy some of that powder if it helps me escape it unscathed every single time. I don't care about spending simoleons. Now, where is the machine? I think one of these have it. Okay, yes, it does. I'm just going to buy a bunch of these. I don't care that I'm spending simoleons again. I only want to get the aspirational step done. Okay, I think we only have time for one more hike before class because I want to go home first and we don't want to be late. Okay, I'm going to choose to go to work even though I can work from home. I don't like working from home because sometimes it bugs out on promotions. So I'm going to take the chance and go to work even though I might get a chance card that lowers my performance. Oh, this is so hilarious. Carla got a call from someone moving in down the street, and now she has this inspired moodlet. So much stuff from getting a new neighbor. Carla can't wait to meet the neighbor's possessions. Wait, no, she can't wait to possess the new neighbor's stuff. Or uh, maybe Carla should just drop in to say hi and definitely not steal anything.
Yeah, she has the kleptomaniac trait, so she's a little bit of an evil sim, but I always play good sims. I almost never have a sim that's actually truly evil. So that's what Carla is probably going to be. Uh, I didn't do the daily task. Well, oh, I got promoted. Okay, but it didn't give me a chance to raise my performance before going again. Fine. Well, we'll get promoted tomorrow. Oh, no. Water conservation got enacted. No, we're going to have to repeal that. I completely forgot I have these turned on. Okay, we need to play Sim Scuffle solo tournament or research is Sim Scuffle strategies. Well, playing in the tournament supposedly completed, but for some reason the action wasn't going away, so it didn't really complete. Maybe I should just research. Okay, that completed, but it only gave me 75% credit. Okay, we're just drinking a bunch of coffee because I want to unlock the coffee fanatic lifestyle. I want all of the lifestyles for her to be unlocked, but her end goal lifestyles are probably going to be single and loving it. Maybe coffee fanatic and techie? Techie because it doesn't decrease performance in careers that are not technology. It only has an increase performance. So a lot of the lifestyles will have both an increase and a decrease or just a decrease. And we want to avoid those lifestyles. We want the ones that only have a benefit towards certain careers. Uh -huh. Okay, we've been promoted to teammate, which is level three. And the next promotion is captain. And yeah, we're fighting Father Winter for presents. So I think that's the last promotion. And then after that, you can get to the top or near top of the esports competitor branch of the tech guru career. Oh! He vacuumed! The butler vacuumed because there was a dust pile there, but only for a second. Well, it's something. So we'll chat with our teammates to get our task done, and then we have to try to get our performance up to max again. Ooh, current conditions are icy. All right, well, we can try the high intensity snowboarding and skiing. Now she's confident, but I don't know if she'll be able to complete this without wiping out. Well, she didn't wipe out. That, yeah, that counted. All right, well, that was easy. We still need to max out our skiing and snowboarding skill, but I'm less worried about that. Let's finish the aspiration while we can. And there's those centipedes. It seems to never fail when I hike up to the cave. So I'm just going to continue doing that. I think if you check the wildlife report, then it might tell you which attacks are more likely. But I'm just a little bit lazy. Oh, we have frequent traveler in progress. I don't know why that would be in progress. Because we haven't taken vacation. But I guess just going to Mount Kumurabi has done that. Or maybe the fact that I'm skiing, snowboarding, and also getting attacked by wildlife while hiking. That could also be it. Well, the only one I need to unlock now is the coffee fanatic lifestyle then. If you see a forest spirit, for whatever reason, you can't stop to collect it. I even tried canceling this go hiking action and it won't cancel. And there's the centipedes again. Well, that was easy. And now we completed the Mount Kumarabi Extreme Sports Enthusiast. Now we're just going to finish up our skiing and snowboarding skill. And we maxed our skiing skill. And we maxed the snowboarding skill. And she wiped out. <laughs> Even a level 10. And we're promoted to captain. Okay, there is no next promotion. So we are at the top of the esports competitor career. Okay, now we're going to switch to the esports gamer, which is technically part of the tech guru career. We can also be a startup entrepreneur. So we can do both of these branches and actually knock out this career. And we're only level seven, so we didn't get to be level eight of this particular career, I guess, because there is no 
distinguished in GPA in, involved with this, so you do have to go through three levels of it. My work schedule actually is okay with my school schedule. So tomorrow I have a class that lasts until 1225 and I don't go to work until 2 p.m. So I can actually go to work tomorrow. And we got promoted to pro gamer. Well, as the Finchwick Cow and Milk Bear. So we're going to enter those and we don't have any participation ribbon yet. So it doesn't matter what we get. Oh, she has a rainbow egg. I've never seen that available from the store before. Why is the flower shop not open? Well, we're just waiting on the end of the Finchwick Fair and trying to celebrate New Year's Eve. But I think we're just going to work on books. And if we have some time, play some piano. So this is Charity. Thanks for watching.